It was kind of funny as we were driving up to the hotel. Um, the ruins right there, but we didn't know it, and they, it looked kind of like a small hill. And I turned to Lash and said, how, how funny would that be if those were the actual ruins? And he goes, I know, we drove all this way just to see these. And it turns out those were the actual ruins. Welcome to Great Zimbabwe National Monument, a well directed site. Among dry stone wood structures, Great Zimbabwe is ranked fourth in the world. The Great Zimbabwe Ruins is definitely um, one of my more favorite things that we've done so far. We're allowed to climb on the rocks and scale, you know, kind of the, the mountainside a little bit. And that was actually really neat because you get up on all these rocks and you stand at the top and you kind of felt like the king of the world a little bit. You'd look around, you could see forever. Hearing what the, what the tour guide had to say about how crucial this place was to, um, you know, the African civilizations at, you know, in the 1300s was pretty cool. It's just straight down. We got there a little late, but getting to be, you know, on the edge of the ruins and look out over the horizon as the sun was setting was uh, something that I won't forget. It was really cool. Definitely worth it. But Topos is really cool. They had a view called the Eye of the World, or View of the World, I think it was, and it was really astounding. 360 degrees of a valley when you were up on a, a little bit of a mountain. It was, I, I honestly thought Metapos was like those rocks stacked on top of each other in a weird way. I had no idea what it was, and then find out it's a, it's a grave site. Sister John Ross um, was, had got a problem of health, he had got a poor health, so he was asthmatic. So while he when you, he was at, at an age of 16 years, when he was in England, the doctor had to diagnose Cecil John Ross that he was not going to, uh, to live long in England, but he was going to die at an age of 21. So they instructed him that if he was going to come to Africa, he was going to reach an age of 50. Seeing the grave of Cecil Rhodes, the guy who kind of founded Rhodesia, the, the country before Zimbabwe, was you know, culturally uh, you know, significant. It's pretty nice. The Great Zimbabwe Ruins and Matopos, they were all really neat because of the history aspect to them. Uh, just the things that we were learning while we were walking around. In Africa, we got to experience the real ruins and the real Matopos, which was uh, extra special. 